Hi, it's Bridget. Hey, welcome to the podcast. Well, okay, it's sort of a podcast, I guess. Sunday morning coffee. I hope that you will enjoy the conversations that we can have together to start your week off in a positive, uplifting way. If you followed my work for any length of time, whether it be at AboveLifeChannel.com, Above Life Channel on YouTube, or Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube, perhaps you've seen me at Bridget Inspired on Instagram or Bridget Inspired on Facebook. Regardless of any of these ways that we know each other or are connected, you know that I believe strongly in positive inputs, focusing on the good. What can we learn? What can, what can we gain from this experience? And really leveraging the energy wisdom that we all have, that we are all connected to. My goal, as always, is to inspire your spirit, to fill you with hope, because after all, this is your life. So live it. You've got to just live it. This week, I want to start by talking about the topic of mystic. Mystic. Mystical. Oftentimes when I connect in in a psychic way, I focus on the term and the word psychic, and I feel a bit mm, magical, I guess, when I think about the word mystic, and I don't have as deep or close of a relationship or bond to the word mystic. But psychic, I really do. Like, I've kind of made it my mission to use the word psychic all the time so that people like you and your friends and others can kind of see that just because the word psychic is used, it doesn't mean crazy. It doesn't mean like the old school interpretations of someone with a a scarf on their head and big hoop earrings and that talks like this and has seances and things like that. It's not at all like that. But the word mystic for me is really kind of magical. Like it feels... hmm, like Merlin or a wizard. <laughs> and the reason why the word mystic came up to me, came up for me recently is I want to share this with you is I'm in a coaching group for myself. I think it's really important to receive as much as it is to give. And after all, how can I expect folks to invest their hard-earned money and time in coaching services if I myself don't utilize coaching services. So in a recent coaching group that I was in as a fellow participant, I was given a card. And just like how I do on Fairy Grasshopper, I do card readings and things and kind of share cards, card decks. I received a card and it was about mystical or that was the the wording actually was was mystical. So let me just see if I can find the actual imagery here and I can read it to you if I can look it up while I'm recording here on my phone we'll see if I can do that so I can read kind of the words to you let's see here it looks like Mm, here we go okay so Again, the card said mystical, not mystic, but I really, I really, really, really connected with the word mystic, that part of it. And so here's what the card actually said. It says, the vastness of your purpose and the energies of the universe are before you at this time. What was once mundane and straightforward now seems to be full of mystery. Your understanding of the mystical energies is deepening. You feel expansive and at one with the vibration of your energy and of all creation. Cleanse all your thoughts and convert all your energy to the greater good at this time. The profound and the understood are becoming more familiar and clear. Remain in each present moment, staying in contact with your own self. You are being challenged to recognize yourself as the master creator of your moments to come. Take responsibility for all that you put out energetically as you move through your world. The mystical truth is to believe and hold 
that others and your own self are already whole, perfect, and complete. Hold everything. Hold that everything is unfolding before you with divine inspiration in divine time and with divine ease. Wow. Isn't that great? That is by Melissa Pierce in her card deck, Touched by a horse.com is where you can purchase her card deck, card deck, card deck, touched by a horse.com. Wow. So I began to explore, doesn't that, isn't that so poignant to what's going on right now in the world? Like, I mean, it really is, isn't it? It's just, it's, it's crazy. And, and actually this group session that I had was the day before Easter. So it was the 11th of April. So that kind of gives you some context if you're listening to the Sunday morning coffee session at another time. So let's talk about mystic. Let's talk about the meaning of this and, and, and what the feeling of it is. Mystic or mysterious is, is the unknown. And there's lots of different ways we can approach, uh, can approach the unknown. All of us have had a crash course in uncertainty. And prior to that, let's be honest, okay? Many of us didn't have all that much confidence to begin with. And now it has sh shaken us to our very core, things that we could have expected or come to rely upon the routines of our day-to-day -day lives, such as driving to work and stopping at Starbucks for coffee, for example. That's all, do that's all done right now. That's all on hold. That's all different. It's all up in the air, so to speak. That kind of level of uncertainty can cause a lot of disruption with us in our emotional energy fields and the way that we choose to or seek connection from our world through the relationships and the personal human interactions, even the things that are annoying, like the coworker um, and their, their, their super loud, not inside voice when they're talking on the phone in the cubicle two doors down from you, <laughs> you know, that kind of a thing. Even those things that we've come to kind of have as part of our normal background noise, when it's gone, then all we're left with is what? What are we left with? We're left with ourselves. We're left to our own devices. Ah, our own devices. What are your devices? Interesting, good question. Grab your journal and a pen. Come back to this point in the recording and think about that. What are your own devices? What do you utilize? What are your go-tos? This is where you can actually change things. This is where change happens incrementally in small ways. This is where you can harness the uncertainty energy and grab a hold of the magic of the mystic energy, the not knowing, the allowing the universe to surprise and delight you in ways that are unexpected, that couldn't have happened otherwise. You have opportunity, ample opportunity in time to be with your own thoughts, which could make you feel crazy. So there are many different ways that you can express this connection or this inner dialogue. Journaling is a great way to do that, but there are so many other devices that you can utilize beyond meditation, yoga, exercise, walking. You can do so many other things. You can do art, you can paint, you can create. You can make jewelry, you can read books, you can write books right now during this time. You can play an instrument. You can go back, go back to all of the collections of all of the workshops that you have attended in the past. You know, those weekend workshop things, those weekend retreat things, maybe the, the one four years ago that you attended. Remember that? Remember that? Dig out your handout from that workshop weekend and read through it, review it. Dig out those audios of that course that you paid for online, remember, three years ago? And redo that course online. And use, actually, get this, use those devices, those tools, those practices, those ways of experiencing things, enhancing your growth. Use those, use those things that you've already learned, that you already know, as the perfect, absolutely perfect bridge for you here and now into the next part of your life, 
It's not about just getting through this time. It's about being able to be connected in new and different ways. And there's no pressure, you guys. There's no pressure as you're listening to this is Sunday morning coffee. There's no pressure for you to make the most of this time and grab life by both sides and with two hands and just rock it, rock on. Oh, come on, give me a freaking break. That is for people who drink way too much coffee. The truth is, this time is about you and whatever you want, whatever you need. And you might not have these dreamy fantasy-like experiences where everything's so hunky-dory and beautiful. And some of your devices might be things that aren't quite as healthy, like perhaps carving it up and at midnight, eating too much mm, of those Easter candy chocolates. Um, that's not me. Um, <clears throat> I'm just using that as a, you know, like a kind of a example for you, you know. Yeah, we all have that kind of stuff. We all have those devices. But what we can do is recognize our patterns of behaviors, and that's how we can change things. Mo monumental change is oftentimes a behind-the-scenes effort, and it's small incremental changes over time that the world doesn't see, but you feel. Oh, you know, because you're the one whose back it was built upon, right? This big change you make. During this time, it's an opportunity just to explore and recognize how you're feeling and what you're moving through and be really gentle with yourself. So on those days when you're high, high, rock on, super productive, great, enjoy it. Grab it with both hands and ride it as much as you can. And then the next three days when you're tired and exhausted, then rest. And don't dig on yourself for that. Don't criticize yourself for that. Don't, oh my gosh, and do not compare yourself with others. That's not what mystic energy is about. Mystic is not about comparison, it's about mystery. Which means you don't have to share your progress. You don't have to join a new online class. Use the stuff you've already connected to in the past. Bring it into the now. Start practicing some of those things. Revisit, review, revise. Revisit, review, revise. Revisit, review, and then revise your course of action based upon what you've already learned. You don't have to reinvent the wheel and you don't have to sell it on eBay. Okay, there's not pressure. The only pressure that exists here is the pressure that you allow to be in this space with you and to overtake you or overthrow you. You are going to have ups and downs. You're going to have moments in your day where you're going to be raiding the pantry and eating the whole bag of Doritos. You're going to have other times when you're like running for three miles and so feeling so good with those endorphins that you come home in and you clean the entire kitchen. Fabulous. Good for you. A for productivity but you don't have anybody else to be accountable to or responsible to at this time. This time is for you to be with yourself, your thoughts. Even when you are in a full house, a busy full house, with lots of other relationships to manage, you still have to manage the relationship with yourself. And right now, that relationship is going to be the most demanding it has ever been because of the level of uncertainty that is around you and at your very doorstep. So let's embrace the uncertainty. Let's call it mystic. Let's call it mysticism. Let's call it mystical connections. Let's utilize and leverage this energy of creation to allow us the power of choice to connect with the spirit energy in our human body experience to merge these, all of these resources together so that we can simply be during this time. We can live how we choose to live. We don't have to live it on Facebook, Instagram, social media, or TikTok. That doesn't give you a better quality of life. What gives you a better quality of life is the opportunity to pay attention to what it is that you really need and want and desire. In order to do that, you have to listen to some of the thoughts that you're having, even if it drives you crazy, even if it's old school thoughts about what you're not doing. Ask yourself more questions. Get into this magical space of the what ifs in a positive light. What if best case scenario? What if I did this? What if I thought that? What if I tried this? 
What if I used that writing class that I took two years ago on Facebook and actually implemented the weekly writing habits that were recommended? What if I followed that outline? What if I do that? Maybe I will feel better. Maybe I can manage my energy and my stress levels better. Even though I got kids on homeschool, online school stuff I got to take care of, I got I to manage and have a strategy for the next uh, trip out to the grocery store, all that kind of stuff. You still can connect in with your own self, being aware of your own needs, recognizing them, and finding little ways, positive input ways to support yourself. And that should become your natural way of being. That should become your natural patterning. During this, small, this time of small incremental changes, eventually, big change will show up in your life. But it's small incremental changes. This is the backstage stuff. This isn't the front stage, ready for public consumption stuff. This isn't the stuff you need to brag about. This is the stuff you need to be present for. Be present for. No comparison. Allow the energy of mystic to come into your life, to create some magic within you, and leverage leverage this energy. So this is Bridget. Thank you so much for listening to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. I hope you've enjoyed our conversation this week. I look forward to having more conversations with you in the future on a variety of psychic and life topics. Again, I look forward to connecting with you on social media on Bridget Inspired on Facebook and Instagram, Above Life Channel on Facebook as well, and of course on YouTube, Above Life Channel and Fairy Grasshopper Channel. Remember, the purpose is always of the work that I share with you is to inspire your spirit, <laughs> to fill you with hope, because this is your life. It's yours. So live it. Just go out and live it, my friends. Thanks for being here.